Cincinnati police say it was a mistake when a sergeant fired live ammunition instead of a non-lethal beanbag bullet during a standoff last night. Now this happened in the West End and thankfully no one was injured. But tonight we're getting a closer look thanks to body camera footage that clearly shows that mistake. Local 12's Brad Underwood takes us through that video. Hours after a Cincinnati police sergeant inadvertently fires a lethal shotgun round instead of a beanbag round, the chief of police is in front of cameras showing body cam footage and admitting a mistake was made. My son has been kind of threatening suicide. A mother calling 911 to get her son help is the reason officers show up on Freeman Avenue. CPD Chief Elliot Isaac says Caleb Moore's family told them he has a history of schizophrenia and mental illness. About 12 minutes into a conversation with Moore, he takes his shirt off, shoves an officer, and pulls out a knife. Officers use beanbag rounds, tasers, chemical spray, everything they have except lethal force to get Moore to drop the knife. Nothing works. Then, Sergeant Daniel Carter goes to his cruiser to get what he thinks are more beanbag rounds. The shot misses and hits a garbage can. Sergeant Carter then fires what he believes is another beanbag round at Mr. Moore. The round misses Mr. Moore, goes into a nearby garbage can. Sergeant Carter immediately realizes due to the sound, the recoil of the shotgun, that he had inadvertently fired a lethal round at Mr. Moore. Eventually, SWAT comes in. After five hours, Moore is taken into custody with minor injuries from being tased and shot with beanbag rounds. I think our officers showed amazing patience. As for Sergeant Carter, who mistakenly fired the lethal round, he's been with CPD since 1992 and is currently a second shift supervisor. Chief Isaac says beanbag rounds and the shotgun shells look and feel different from each other, but in the moment, the sergeant just grabbed the wrong one. We'll always look at every incident um, to learn from and to do things better. Uh, and in, in the interest of, of transparency, there clearly was a mistake made here. That's why I called this press conference. I wanted to make sure that we were bringing this out uh, to make sure that everyone is aware what occurred here so that we can make certain that things are done better in the future. Moore is still in a 72 hour hold for a psychiatric evaluation. He's also facing charges of inducing panic and resisting arrest. In the West End, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And that incident will be under review by the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office and Cincinnati Police's Internal Investigations Section.